Tri-State police officer is fighting for his job tonight, while the chief who fired him is under investigation by the state. One council member calls it retaliation against a whistleblower. Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe is here now with what the I-Team uncovered. Brendan? What would you do if your boss asked you to punch his time card when he wasn't there? That's the dilemma Aberdeen police officer Matt Disney says he faced. He turned state's witness, and tonight he's out of a job. Is Officer Matt Disney a straight shooter? Not according to Aberdeen Police. A department sergeant failed Officer Disney on his annual firearms qualification, one of five reasons given for his recent termination. The young officer says he became the target after telling investigators his police chief was working two jobs at the same time. He would uh, call and have me uh, clock him in. Chief Greg Cottle has not been charged with a crime, but we found this letter in the police chief's personnel file from the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. On July 7th, BCI investigators asked Aberdeen for the chief's payroll records, and Officer Disney says later that same month, he found these pay stubs from another company made out to Greg Cottle, tucked above the visor of a police cruiser because I fell into my lap as I went over a speed bump. Mayor Harry Foxworthy confirmed his police chief is under state investigation, but refused to do an interview. Chief Caudill also wouldn't talk with the I-team. The chief is not only still on the job tonight, he's been taken off probation, while last month Officer Disney was fired. He's been retaliated against. Council member Billy Idol says the officer's troubles began last May after Disney complained to his corporal about the time cards. She says the corporal brought his concerns to her and the mayor. Then the council member approached Disney in his patrol car for confirmation. He felt that Cottle was working elsewhere and somebody was clocking him in and out. In fact, he was honest enough to tell me that he had clocked him in and out himself. I felt that uh, what I was doing was wrong or could get me in trouble, but I didn't want to go against my chief's um, uh, orders. But Officer Disney got in trouble anyway. On June 4th, he received this written reprimand, and Idol says the chief demoted his supervisor. He stripped him of his uh, corporal stripes and put him on a midnight shift. The chief wrote in Disney's reprimand, he as well as another officer had been discussing personal privy information related to myself to a councilman, and I suspended Officer Disney for three days without pay as a result of his behavior. What do you think those two things add up to? Retaliation. Had you received reprimands before this? No. His Aberdeen personnel file shows he was written up for a commendation in 2012 and a glowing performance review in 2011. Officer Disney rated exceeds requirements or exceptional in 34 categories and earned the top score in seven, including takes responsibility, honors commitments, teamwork, and relationship with supervisors. Disney says that relationship with his chief changed after he talked with BCI investigators. Concerned about retaliation, Disney says he secretly recorded the chief when he reported for duty on July 4th. There's all the stuff down off the street as far as blocking off and stuff. I didn't know if we need to move anything. Listen, don't call BCI on me and then come in to my brother. You understand? Hit the street. All right. Officer Disney's file is now full of reprimands, all dated after he began answering questions about his chief. They include write-ups for dereliction of duty and absenteeism. One is that failed firearms qualification with the comment, any questions regarding this matter, contact Chief Greg Caudill. Had you ever failed a firearms qualification before? No. Officer Disney immediately went to an outside agency and passed the state shooting test without missing a single shot. Emergency traffic. Just days after returning to duty, Disney was written up again for responding to this home invasion outside the village. We think someone was in my bedroom because the bedroom light was on and then all of a sudden it shut off and my husband took off running out of the house. The call was for a B&E &E in progress with a loaded shotgun in the uh, bedroom. Four out of my Disney was dispatched to meet the frightened family at a gas station within the village of Aberdeen. Female on the phone was distraught. If you could just uh, check on her. But I'm out with them. Everybody's okay here. As the call went out, I immediately attempted to call uh, Sergeant Matt Nicholas. I'm being advised that 
We're not able to reach 4 out of 95. The lone county deputy had asked Officer Disney to go with him to the house outside the village because there was a possibly armed intruder inside the house. Well, what happened was he asked me to go out there with him. Just wanting to confirm it on the radio that you did request that unit respond out with you to back you up. All right. If I were in the same situation, they would come and back me up, so... I should go and back them up. The reprimand states officer failed to obtain authorization from a supervisor to exit the officer's jurisdiction when not dispatched to the call. Hello? It's Ron at dispatch. Yeah. Um, Disney's trying to get a hold of you. Disney was terminated October 23rd for gross neglect of duty, failure to obey orders given by the proper authority, and other reasonable and just cause. Knowing then what you know now, mm -hmm. the outcome that you would face termination, would you still do everything the same way you did? Yes, because, again, I believe that your integrity is all you have at the end of the day. Officer Disney has appealed his termination to the village council. Aberdeen's mayor told the I-team he personally approved his chief's second job and a leave of absence without telling council. The Brown County prosecutor tells the I-team the investigation of Chief Caudill is complete and her office is awaiting the case file from the Bureau of Criminal Investigation. Clyde. Superb reporting, Brendan. Thanks.